how to use the Emotion app for project management. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with project management on Emotion. So let's get into it. Now to get started, you can click on Try Emotion for free on the top right. Once you do that, you can sign up for free using Google, Microsoft, Apple, or your email address. I am going to be using my email, my Gmail account to build our free account on Motion. Keep in mind that Motion has a seven day free trial. After that, you would have to upgrade to a paid plan on Motion. Now we're just going to prepare our Motion account and we're going to subscribe with our new account. So now we are being signed up on Motion. Now, after that, you have two options. Either you can choose an individual account or a team account. We're going to proceed with a individual account. Now, after that, you have your billing. So you're just going to enter your payment info over here. You will see you will have a seven day free trial. And I'm just going to put in my payment info and I'll get back to you guys in one second. So we've completed our info on Motion and now I'm just going to click on skip video and you can connect all of your pre-existing calendars to Motion. Now over here I can choose to connect my calendar and add my Google Outlook or Apple calendar or if you want you can skip right ahead and use a Motion calendar. Now for project management it's really essential that if you have any type of weekly hours you do insert them and I'll be using the standard weekly hours. Then you also have your calendar where you can set up recurring tasks. So let's say for us that it's going to be checking emails and I'll use that as a recurring task. Then after that, you have some basic tasks that you might be working on. So let's say I'll be creating a YouTube video for 30 minutes and I'll just click on next. And this can just help us in setting up our basic motion account. Now, one thing to note is that if you are working in a team, if you're doing project management, you can choose a team account and you can go on ahead and click on switch to team to switch to the team account. This is very important if you have multiple different people that are going to be using motion. So let's say our team is called Lily Group. And then after that, we can add teammates. So we're just going to proceed without any team members. And we can choose a theme as well. So I'll go with our system settings and click on continue. Now, if you are using the individual version, you can still pretty much manage your basic projects. That is not something that is, you know, reserved for only a team account. But on the team account, on the top, you have a project section. Let's say this is going to be launching our website that's our project for motion and then i can click on next over here to get started with setting up the you know project so this is going to be web launch and then click on next and then we have three basic tasks that we have to create as an example so first off i want to create a logo secondly we have to create add creative and then firstly we have to decide or create ui ux and then i'll just click on next over here and once we've done that we can go on ahead and proceed into our workspace now in our workspace you will see it will say no project and then it has the tasks that are going to be created in your personal section then you have the web launch project and the web launch project will be displaying all the tasks in the web launch project now you can choose to group by a certain project as well as view the entire team's schedule instead of just seeing your own schedule now i am going to go on ahead and go into one particular workspace on the left we have the launching our website workspace we have our web launch now in our web launch we have different statuses that have been created by default and you can go on ahead and click on edit and once you click on edit you will have a basic description of your project and on the right you have deadlines priorities labels as well as you know all of the task info and activity now for our particular tasks we have statuses now in these statuses i'm going to customize these a little and you guys can see we have a bunch of different statuses like to do backlog and progress blocked let's say i have a status this might be design tasks and then I will mark these with a pink color and click on add status. Now I can choose to add all of the items 
I'll click on go back, save project. Now what I can do is that instead of having items grouped like this, let's say to build the ad creative is a task that is meant to be done by ad creative. So it's by the design team and I can add this as a status and this is going to be design like this and I'll add a color, click on add status, save task. And now all of the tasks that are meant to be done by the design team can be displayed with that. Now, you can choose to arrange your tasks in no priority, in a status based priority, priority based, you know, setup as well as assignees and labels. Now, the most convenient one is statuses, and you can sort them by all four or all of the statuses that are present within a individual workspace. On the top, you also have filters that can help you in setting up the basic views. And for project management, this is a list view. I prefer a Kanban view. So to be able to access that, you can click on Kanban on the right, and this will display a Kanban view. Now in your Kanban view, you can also arrange and add tasks a bit easier. So I'll move my design task section over here, and I'll rename this actually. I named two things the same thing. And if I want, we can also go on ahead and go into edit. We have some pre-existing statuses that might not be, you know, applicable to your task. So you can go on ahead and just move them to the end without keeping them because they are, you know, not relevant. So we also have some tasks that we have created and I am going to go on ahead and show you guys a couple of the features that are very important. So with every task that you have if you click on the task you have all of the info that you need if this is a hard deadline if you need a warning if it's past the due date the duration of the task any minimum chunks that you are going to be using you know chunks of time to complete this task any labels you want to insert you can insert your own labels and then you can add a schedule for tasks as well. So if these are going to be done for personal hours, anytime, day, night, or work hours, then you can add blocked by and blocks. These are two very important things in any project management tool. So blocked by is basically if there is a task that needs to be done before I can create a logo. So maybe deciding the color scheme. And then there is the option of blocks. So let's say there's another task that maybe my animation team has to do, which is to animate the logo. So until I create the logo, the task is blocking the animation of the logo for my graphics team. So these are really important features that can help you in making sure that there is a very nice scheduled workflow. And when a task moves from one designation to another, so I've created the logo, I can move this to the completed section over here and mark it as a completed task. And in this way, you can do all of your basic project management using Motion. Plus, with the integration of your calendar, you have the useful features of setting up personal work hours and a basic business setup. And you will be able to easily track all of the things you need to do on your Motion calendar, as well as create a booking section on Motion as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.